Today on Running to Him. We are to put aside ourselves and put on the new self. Today we will read Colossians chapters 3 and 4 and concentrate on chapter 3, verses 6 to 13. Colossians 3, 6 to 13 says, For it is because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. And in them you also once walked, but we were living in them. But now you are also putting them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices, and have put on the new self, who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him, a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian and Scythian, slave and freeman, but Christ is all and in all. So as those who have also been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion and kindness, humility and gentleness and patience, and bearing with one another, forgiving those, each other, who as complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, you also should. Well, today's call-out section reveals the differences between those who have a relationship with God through Christ and those who don't. Verses 8 and 9 show the heart condition of those who do not know Christ. Notice that the character comes in all forms of verbal action, such as anger, and wrath, and malice, slander, and abusive speech. Interestingly, these attributes are described as verbals. When the heart is corrupt, the mind and the tongue offer obscenities. And we can see this in our daily lives. Listen to the difference in the speech of those who have a relationship with Christ and those who do not. It will astound you. Now in verse 12, Paul reminds us that we who have a relationship with Christ have work to do with our lives. We are to have this heart of compassion. This means that we feel the pain of others feel. We, we can empathize with those struggling because we understand and feel that struggle from our own lives. We are kind to one another. This comes from the idea of our being made in the image of God. We can replace kindness with the word grace. We are gracious to others because we understand that the grace that God has given us and we seek to return that grace to others. Now, I recently read an article about a woman who confronted someone who had invaded her home. After the initial confrontation, she fed that home invader, blessing him after he tried to steal from her. God protected her through her gracious act. Humility, gentleness, and patience are all associated with one another. If a person is humble, they understand people struggle with their ego. Humility brings out the idea that we recognize our failings and, therefore, can understand how others fail. Consequently, we will be gentle and patient around those around us. Finally, we will bear one another's burdens. We do this through prayer. When we pray, the Holy Spirit allows us to be with that person and comfort them, even when not around them. You may have heard it said, I felt your prayers. In addition, when praying for someone, we cannot help but be forgiven. We can't pray for someone and still hold grudges. We give those feelings to God and with him change our lives. We might copy those seven verses and place them on our refrigerator or someplace where we regularly see them to remind ourselves who we are in Christ. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.